Welcome to the video series, The Operational Amplifier, From Abstraction to Reality. This video is about op-amp noise calculations. Here's an overview of the op-amp noise calculation method we will be using. First, notice that the bandwidth feeds every noise calculation. Three noise density values are retrieved from the data sheet that are inputs for the broadband 1 over F and the resistor current noise calculations. Notice the total device noise is only an intermediary result. It's always a good practice to look at the resistor noise along with the total device noise to make sure we are not taking a good low noise op amp and ruining its noise performance with poor resistor value choices. The resistor voltage calculation has a temperature and bandwidth input. Everything up to this point is noise relative to the input. We simply multiply that up by the gain, then use statistics to approximate a peak-to-peak -peak output voltage. Let's begin with a short statistics review. You are probably familiar with the normal or Gaussian probability density function. It's basically the outline of the Gaussian curve. The probability distribution function is the integral under the curve. The probability that the random variable x is between the interval between a to b is the integral. In this case, the random variable is the noise voltage. Mu is the mean value of the distribution, and sigma is the standard deviation. I found the website random.org that has a Gaussian random number generator. Unlike the pseudo-random number generators done by computers, the randomness comes from atmospheric noise. Here is 1,000 random data points I generated with that website. This histogram shows that with just 1,000 data points, the distribution is very Gaussian. Those 1,000 data points represent noise voltage with a standard deviation of 10 millivolts. The distribution function results in 68.3% of the voltage samples are within plus or minus one sigma deviation. For plus or minus three standard deviations, 99.7% of the data points will be within that spread. At 0.3%, it would follow that three data points would be outside the six sigma range. Turns out, there were four, so this data is very normally distributed for only having 1,000 data points. This is a table of the percent probabilities of measuring voltage for the various number of standard deviations. Here is the equation for the standard deviation where xi is the data sample n is the number of samples, and mu is the average of all the samples. Since noise has an average of zero, the standard deviation of noise is the same as the root mean squared voltage. The point of this demonstration is that peak-to-peak -peak noise is assumed to be six times the RMS noise with a 99.7% probability. That is a common practice, and going forward, we will use the six times RMS factor to get the peak to peak noise. Thanks for watching. Please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content.